So when it comes to farming those aspects in Diablo 4, many people suggest to you different ways. I mean, yes, there are great ways in doing so, but nothing is guaranteed. It's all RNG. But how do you up your chances? Well, today, guys, I bring you what, in my opinion, is by far the most efficient way in farming individual legendary aspects. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so I recently respect. I didn't prepare for this. I mean... Literally, guys, I just respect on the spot like at level 94. Uh, it means I had to farm, I had to farm gear all over again. I mean, I was fed up with my quartz build, I wanted to go into bones, so that's what we've done. Now, the I've got much, much better gear, it's all in my my stash. I just need the aspects for it. The one I'm searching for now is this one right here, it's called the aspect of serration. The ossified essence key passive also increases critical strike damage of your bone skills. I have a much, much, much better set of gloves in my stash. I'm just looking for this aspect. So how would we farm this aspect? So if there's an aspect you're looking for, whether it be on your chest, your helmet, your gloves, your pants, your boots, your weapon, amulets, rings, whatever, guys, this is how you would farm for it. And it's all to do with those obols. Now you can see right there, guys, I have 557. I've gotten them in literally under 10 minutes. Under 10 minutes, I've gotten them. It's as simple as that. This farm I'm going to show you today, guys, is utterly broken for those obols. Now, once you have these obols, guys, you target farm them from the vendor. I don't think there's a vendor actually. Oh, there is right there. This guy right here. This is like the gambler, we call them. Um, these guys are, at every, well, not every town. I won't say every town, but at most towns. One there as well. One here as well. So, yes, this is the guy. This is the guy we go and spend those obols at. So, again, if there's an aspect you're looking for, you need to know what piece it drops on and this you, you'll know what piece it drops on if you have the aspect extracted but before you get to that stage you need to get the aspect so if you want to be sure research online this one i know drops on those gloves so i'm just going to go and mass spend uh my obols on gauntlets on gloves hoping i'll get this so again how do we get quick obols so it's pretty simple now this is an event that's here 90 percent of the time so you simply guys you go to this area right here, you can see where I'm at on the map, left hand side, dry steps. This area right here is an event on 90% of the time. So you want to come to this town, just like so, and you just want to make your way down here, do just that. like so. It's, it's crazy guys, some people know about this, I mean I covered this a while back. I didn't post it in regards to uh, farming obols, I posted it in regards to a decent XP farm which is basically here 90% of the time and you can see right here guys this event right here so you clear out the event which we'll do and I'll show you exactly how this works it's utterly it's utterly broken now there's a good chance as well guys when you get here there's going to be other players here too which makes it even go quicker and what happens is we will load out of the instance so what we do is we'll, once we've done this event we fast travel back to town and then we just travel back 90% of the time guys again the event is back here it just it's just a constant respawn and i believe you get like upwards of well about 70 obols per run which is just nutty you also get the loot from the chest as well which can be legendaries that's you know what i'm saying people it can be that great loot too which even if you don't need it's all money at the end of the day and the event here is 99 percent of the time just so easy to clear it out way more efficient than me i'm taking my time my build ain't even the best at the minute not that efficient at the moment yes i kill quick but i also i'm squishy as heck i'm squishy as heck now there's a couple more enemies left i do up there so we're going to take these out guys and again you can do this in a team you can do this in a team which is just broke it's just broke now i've got no essence left there we go there we go there we go okay so now is the boss we take out the boss and just corpse tendrils him there we go and he's dead simple as that we open the chest and as you can see nice sacred ring now obols gold then just press down on your d-pad if you're playing console you fast travel back to town and then what you'll do is guys you come straight back here simple as that now you can wait in between five or ten seconds because what you're doing is you're actually resetting the instance now there's a chance there's a small chance that when you go back that the event may not be there if that if that is the case simply fast travel back to town and come back 
But there's a massive, massive chance, guys, that the event like now will be back here. It is that simple. You just rinse and repeat it over and over. And you'll max out an all balls so fast, it's unbelievable. So we'll kill these again. I mean, it's just easy work. It really is. It's just easy work. Again, you can do this at any level. Any level you want. That's a great thing about this. Whether you're working on your build, your builds are building progress like mine. You're at end game. You're looking for those better aspects. You need gold. You just need loot. You need XP. This is great for all that. You can use this event for all that. It doesn't just have to be if you're farming aspects. I just believe, in my opinion, it's a much, much quicker way in getting those aspects. It really is because again I've been farming dungeons. I mean, okay, so what are you in a dungeon? Me, for me, I can run a dungeon. The hardest ones, ten minutes. There's a chance I probably only get one legendary or not doing these dungeons. I mean, how many times could you run this? Especially in the team, how many times could you run this in ten minutes? A lot, a lot of time, people. So yeah, this is what I mean. Come on, die. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now we pick up these. And my bag's full of loot already. I can sell shiz. Make plenty of gold at the same time. And let's farm this over and over. So what I'll do now, guys, is, as you can see right now, I have 680 obols. I'm just going to go back to town. Go back to my main town. So when I like and what I do now guys is I just spam out buying those gloves if I don't get the aspect I want on any of these gloves I sell what I've got make more gold and then simply rinse and repeat and I'll do this until I get that aspect I want again the aspect may not be the best version of said aspect but hey it's all RNG as you guys well know I should probably actually sell all my gear because I ain't gonna be able to buy anything because I'm an idiot so what I do is I quickly skip the video and catch you guys back in a quick second okay so my shiz has been sold so now we're just gonna go to this dude right here guys i'm just gonna go and look for the gloves just like so what we do now guys is we just spam out buying these class 40 each so odds are i mean i'm gonna get quite a few well i've got four legendaries there that's not bad not bad and some of these could be even better roles than what i'm using and that's another thing about these as well, guys. It's a great way to farm um, individual pieces as well with those better fixes on. That's another thing you can take advantage of this for. So, yes, no deal up to 18. That's not bad. See, I need the aspect. That's an aspect I need. They're actually not too bad of gloves, too. So, yeah, there we go. Mm, quite high, but no, nope, not what I want. Nope. And... Oh, not bad either. But again, guys, like I said, it's all RNG, but this is what I do. So I'll go and farm for another 10 minutes, do the same again. It's just a farm. As we know, guys, this game's a grind. It's a grind over and over and over again. But this is what I do to farm those individual aspects. Gotta do what you gotta do, people. So if you wanna farm those aspects, if there's a certain aspect you need for your build, if you wanna farm better gear, better fixes, this, in my opinion, is one of the better ways of doing it, especially as a solo player. Yes, it will be faster in a group, but it's still a great, great, great way of doing this as a solo player. But there we have it, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and wanna see more, be sure to subscribe, and hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.